nighttime. So it's Friday night and I am about ready to get started on the green truck doing the exhaust on the truck. Going to attempt to put dual exhaust on the green truck. I got my pipe and some bends and the X pipe and some hangers, the glass packs which are Flotec. And I was under the truck doing some just some preliminary fit up and I think the driver's side is going to be pretty easy. Actually the passenger side I think is going to be the hard one. I may have to go get a different bend tomorrow from the muffler shop. We'll see how this goes. First thing I'm going to do is take the old exhaust off. But first, let's see how it sounds the way it is now. <laughs> It's just a little bit of a rumble to her, but not much. It just has one single glass pack and then it dumps right before the front axle. So I'm gonna get under there and start cutting pieces off and we'll see how it changes. Well, I cut this back section of pipe with the glass pack off and that's what it sounds like with no, no glass pack or anything on it. Not a whole lot different has a little bit of a rumble to it, but not a whole lot different. So after cutting that off, now I'm gonna move forward. I think I will cut the first cat off and we'll see how that sounds. And then the second cat, and I expect that to be pretty loud. <laughs> So I cut the, the second cat off there, and that has a little more rumble to it. Now we're gonna move up to the first cat. And of course, right when I start recording, the heater turned on. So I've got this back section down that had the glass pack on. I got the, the second cat down. And right now I'm working on taking the first cat down. I'm just taking it off of the manifolds. So we're not gonna hear it without the first cat and just the pipes. And I tell you what, these nuts that were on there, not a whole lot left to them. That was off the driver's side. I gotta do the passenger side now, which I think should come off. I've had it off a couple of times. So I'm gonna get it off. I tried taking the O2 sensor out, and I tell you what, that sucker is stuck. I know when I put it in, I was afraid I was going to either strip it out, break something. That thing went in tough. I may end up having to buy another one, which, which I don't really want to do, but you gotta do what you gotta do. So I got the front cat down. Let's fire it up and just see how it sounds. Well, I'd say she has a bit of a rumble to her now. But now, I need to I need to get that O2 sensor out. I really hope I can get that out because there's nothing wrong with it and I don't want to have to go buy a new one, but if I have to, I have to. Well, it's the next morning and I'm gonna try tackling this. I quit last night after I got the exhaust down. I think I showed this last night pipe with the glass pack. Second cat, first cat and the Y pipe. 
I can't get that O2 sensor out. So after cutting and fitting some pieces up, I think I'm gonna be able to make this work without too much difficulty. This is for the passenger side. Got that flange, and I tack welded this bent piece onto it. I'm gonna fit that up underneath there, and I think it's going to work. So I just got back from the auto parts store. I went and got some clamps, two and a half inch clamps for the X-pipe and also for the mufflers. I also got some high temp paint. I'm going to at least paint the welds. Hopefully, maybe that'll help slow down rust. So I got the pipes from the manifold past that first cross member. I have them tack welded and I have they're actually on the truck. So now I just need to bring them out here, weld them up, and then I can put them on the truck, get the X-pipe in, cut some more pipe, mufflers, hangers, that kind of thing. It's going together. Still got it. What's up, Mox? Got a little snow last night. I think we could get two to four inches tomorrow night. I'm just ready for spring. I was letting the dog in here, but she decided she was going to start chewing on things. So she can stay outside for now. So I got those all welded up, and I also got a little paint on them. Cover the welds with high temp paint. I don't know if it's going to actually do any good or not, but I don't think it's going to hurt anything either. So like I said, I went to the parts store and I got some exhaust clamps. And as you can see, that adds up in a hurry when you have dual exhaust, an X-pipe, well that takes four, the two mufflers takes four, and then if you were to connect all your pipes with the connectors and more clamps, it adds up. Those are, uh, I think those are about three dollars a piece, so yeah, had to do it. But wanted to do it so I could unclamp it, take the exhaust down if I needed to, they'll probably just end up corroding and won't ever be able to get them off anyway. This would be a lot easier to do if I had bought mandrel bends. However, it can be done without the mandrel bends, just regular bends and the pipe gets deformed. However, if you need to cut, say a 90, make a slightly different angle and connect two pipes together again, you can get some deformed pipe, but, but it's not that horribly deformed and uh, if you massage it a little bit, you can get it back into fairly close shape. I had to do that, where did it, I think right on that one. And had a couple of spots where the wells got a little, little out of control, but not too bad. It's gonna be just fine. So I'm gonna let that paint dry on those pipes and I am going to go up to the house, get something to eat. I'm starving, haven't eaten anything all day. Don't forget about the license plate wall. Haven't received any license plates lately, but uh, I'm sure I'll get some here before long. I'm gonna call it a day for now. If you wanna see the rest of this and hear how the truck runs when it's all done, don't miss my next video. But give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.